All right, so I'm sitting here with Amanda Teresi, who uh, represents a couple organizations. So uh, do you want to tell us a little bit a little bit about each of them? Independence Institute is a free market think tank out in Colorado. Um, we focus a lot on free market healthcare, free market, uh, you know, school choice type things, uh, gun policy, Second Amendment rights, uh, fiscal policy, stuff like that. So it's a pretty, pretty great resource for anyone living in Colorado. For a long time, the uh, ATF part of the Independence Institute has been thrown, has been on my radar. Uh, can you tell folks a little bit about that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's going to be our seventh annual alcohol, tobacco, firearms party this coming uh, June 20th. Um, and basically what we do is we get together at a uh, sporting club and you get to shoot clay pigeons, um, about a hundred, actually you get to shoot a hundred with a shotgun. And then we have uh, barbecue lunch, we get speakers. We, it's always a blast and we smoke cigars the rest of the time. I mean, it's all about smoking, drinking, and shooting, but not in that order. Yeah, in the right order. <laughs> in the right order, of course. So uh, go to www.independenceinstitute.org if you want to learn more about that. And then uh, Liberty on the Rocks is a uh, grassroots effort to bring people closer to capitalism, I guess. Um, just a thing that started in Denver about 10 months ago. It's now being exported to other states. Just a social group to get people together so they can come out, um, talk about liberty and other types of things while drinking. If you come out to Liberty on the Rocks, you'll see we get, uh, you know, even though we started about nine months ago, 10 months ago, we get upwards of 50 to 60 people every other week and I see at least 30 new faces every new time so it's amazing how many libertarian conservative people are actually in Denver they're just they're just hiding because they don't know that other people agree with them so it's just amazing that's another thing about Liberty on the Rocks is just showing people that they're not alone there's other people that agree and they don't have to be afraid to voice their opinions right and it sounds like if you're getting together libertarians and conservatives there may be you know, not necessarily everyone's in agreement on every issue, right? It's uh, some good banter, I would. It's it's true, but you know, the, the premise is that we agree on about seventy five percent of things for the most part. So leave the other twenty five percent alone for now. Let's save the country and bring it back towards freedom, and then we can squabble at the other things. But also to, you know, for the for the hip, hypocritical people that are still out there that demand smaller government but still want to tell people how to live their life. Hopefully, by bringing those two together, you're kind of showing them the error of their ways. So uh, you mentioned uh, exporting Liberty on the Rocks to other states. Mm -hmm. Is there a way, if, if people are watching and they're interested in uh, getting involved with this organization, how would they go about that? Um, well, just go to libertyontherocks.com. Uh, you can find ways to contact people, and we'd love to help anybody with giving them any resources or you know, strategies, tactics, ways to get started. Um, so it's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be a way to engage in conversation and also find out the other activities that are going on, tea party rallies, you know, it, it, event, speaking events, you know, things with testimony in front of the legislator, pro-liberty bills, anti-liberty bills, you know, stuff like that. It's like it's like a social lubricant, if you will. Right on. <laughs> That's good. How did you come to these ideas of liberty? Like, what made you such a, a, a driven advocate for them? I really don't know. I don't know. People ask me that all the time, and it's just, it's just right. I just always thought it was right. It's just, it's freedom, man. Right Who doesn't on. like that? This is true. This is true. <laughs> Is there a time that you would say, we're done, we were successful, or what is your end goal? Sure, yeah. I mean, if the government shrank down to about 10% of its capacity now, or maybe even less than that, and uh, dropped taxes to, let's say, you know, no more than 5% across the board, um, that would probably be, yay, we won. What would you encourage people to use, like, to approach other people about when they... Uh, introduce these ideas to them. Basically just, you know, do you really want more government? Ask people, do you want to control your life or do you want a bureaucrat to control your life? I mean, most people would say they want less government and then they turn around and, and try to enact these big spending bills or redistribution of wealth, as they call it, um, which is really big government. It was really anti-voluntary action. So they make people realize that they're engaging themselves in, in desiring force. What's the one message you want to leave with people? Like, why... Tell them something to get them off the couch and, uh, you know, not be apathetic. Well, you know, people, I, I meet more and, people that, more and more people that say, you know, I was always on the sidelines, but now it's just starting to affect my life. So realize it will affect your life. You will not get good health care. You will be raped of all the money that you make. You know, I mean, motivating factors, incentives are just going to go out the window. So it, it's going to affect you. So I say get involved. And if that means nothing more than just talking about it at the water cooler, that's that's great, you know. Do whatever you can. To thank you, Amanda Teresi, for uh, spending some time with us here in Marv. Of course. And uh, telling us a little bit about Independence Institute and Liberty on the Rocks. You got it. Thank you. Cool. <laughs>